What's up everybody, Mark with Coffee and Toys here, and I said Friday, I think it was Friday, that there was gonna be a large, huge, extravagant announcement for this channel coming up this weekend, and here it is. I'm probably gonna shut the channel down. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you stopping this channel? Coffee and Toys seems to be something a lot of people enjoy, and that's true. A lot of people do enjoy this channel. Unfortunately, um, maybe I should give you some, some background first. The channel was something I started during COVID um, as something to keep myself connected with the community, something that, you know, I've had friends and peers doing YouTube channels, doing toy reviews specifically, and I decided I'd throw my hat in the ring, figuring to myself, hey, why not give it a shot? And so I did and got some traction. It kind of died away, but in 2022, I really picked it up again. So it actually started around 20, I think it started around the Snake Eyes movie, whenever that came out. And maybe a little before that. And yeah, it really kicked off in 2022, 2023. Now we're in 2024. So I've essentially been going a solid two years doing this channel and with two kids, a busy life, um, it's just, I don't have the time to do the reviews in the way I really want to do them. Uh, I have a very limited window every day to get a review created or a comic book, comic book review created or a top 10, top five, any of these number of videos I've done. I just have a very limited amount of time to get it done. And then uh, really what it comes down to is there's not a lot of, I don't know how to say this because I don't, it's not anybody that watches this channel's fault. It's completely my fault. I don't engage uh, in all the avenues I need to, to boister a larger audience, to get more things planned, to get feedback that helps form my channel. I don't have the time to invest back into the channel to do more things that will make this YouTube channel more uh, professional, more exciting. And I realize I'm just another talking head out there. There are tons of great YouTubers out there that, you know, they're, they have made this, if not their career, pretty much a second career, maybe for a lot of them. And I just don't have that opportunity to do that at this point in my life. The other part of this is that I'm not personally getting enjoyment out of the toys I buy. And what do I mean by that? I love doing the reviews. I love actually unboxing the figures with you guys, reviewing them, playing with them. My problem is, is that I have a lot of toys in this room that I have bought, that I have not opened yet, that I have not to got to enjoy because I say to myself, I need to review this on the channel first. And then when I don't have time, they just sit in a box. I, you can't see it, but this is my closet that I'm tapping right here. It is floor to ceiling full of toys that I have not opened over the last two and a half years. I've, I mean, right now I've got the I've got the Shockwave Night Force laying right here beside me. I've got a 3-0 12-inch Cobra Commander, 12-inch 3-0 Destro, Tiger Force Roadblock and Tripwire, uh, and a, a whole box from Big Bad Toy Store of toys that I have not even opened because I keep telling myself, well, I need to enjoy, I need to let, make sure you all enjoy it with me. Uh, but then I sell, tell myself, if you don't unbox it immediately, no one's gonna wanna watch it anyway because 25 other YouTubers have already done the same review. So I kind of get myself in this catch 22 of uh, opening and reviewing figures. And it's unfortunate because I got a lot of cool toys here that I, that I wanna review. And I just, I never have time. I thought that uh, as time went on, I I've actually thought about this a few times, shutting the channel down. I've been encouraged not to do so. Do things that make sense for me, that work best for me. And a suggestion was, uh, came about, why don't you set up a specific schedule of when you're gonna do things so you're not just always trying to find time to squeeze a review in. And I was like, that's a perfect idea. So I stuck with the format of that I would do the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday that those were gonna be the days I could do what I said I'm gonna do on the channels, whether it's the new comic reviews, classic Marvel run of G.I. Joe, vintage reviews, or just regular action figure modern day toy reviews. And even I can't keep up with that anymore. Um, 
like I said, I just don't really have the time to do it. I mean, I've got two little boys. Uh, my wife works full time. I work full time. And there's just, uh, there's no time anymore. And again, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but with that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm suspending the channel for now. I don't think I'm going to completely just turn it off and walk away from coffee and toys. Um, I think I just need to decide what makes sense moving forward. I read everyone's feedback. I love when people respond to videos. I love when they ask questions, when they say, yep, I picked this up because you seem to like it or no, I didn't like that. I, I read all those comments. I enjoy reading them. I enjoy the interactions. But at this time, I, I really have to just kind of sit back and decide what do I really enjoy? Do I enjoy being a collector, enjoying these toys for what they are for my own personal collecting enjoyment? Or do I want to try to compound that with I'm also going to try to do this because I want to run a YouTube channel and I think that'll be really fun and I think I have something to offer. And right now I think I need to just take a step back, reset, ponder if I actually want to do this. Like I said, there's tons of great YouTubers out there doing G.I. Joe, wrestling, um, Marvel Legends, Star Wars. There's tons of them out there. I don't know if I bring anything exceptionally different than what they do. So yeah, with that, that's pretty much what I'm going to do today. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. Maybe we'll continue it here in the future. Uh, but for now, uh, moving forward, I'm going to sit back just like a lot of you. I'm going to wait to see what San Diego Comic-Con has to offer. There are a lot of wonderful things coming up on the G.I. Joe Classified specifically that I'm looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to enjoy it just as a fan. I'm not going to have to worry about it, reporting on it, taking notes. Uh, I'm not going to have to worry about uh, writing scripts up for uh, comic book reviews. And again, I, while I enjoyed doing those things, I just, now I get to enjoy a little bit more time back for myself. And who knows, maybe I'll come up with some great idea or maybe I'll come back with a completely different channel. But thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Uh, it's been really fun. Like I said, the videos are gonna stay up. Maybe I'll get a, a wild hair every once in a while and uh, do a review of something I think's really cool. But for now, I think I'm just gonna enjoy being a collector first, a fan first, and we'll, we'll see what this crazy YouTube thing comes up with uh, in the future. But with that, I'm Mark. You've been watching Coffee with Toys. We'll see you soon. Let's go.